Hello everyone and welcome back to this video series on setting up my metadata driven processing framework for Azure Data Factory from scratch in your own environment. This is part two of the video where we're going to look at creating our Azure resources potentially for the first time. So here we are back at my desktop and you may recall from the last video we'd downloaded the source code from the GitHub repository and we'd looked at some of the uh, files that were in there. So what we're going to do now with the files that are in the solution um, basically as a, a guide for this video series and what I've put together to try and help you in the markdown folder there's a file called deployment steps. Um, Maybe just a, a slight digression, but in my Visual Studio environment, I've got an extension installed called Markdown Editor, which allows me to see the Markdown as well as a preview version, which is why my middle window split. Anyway, we digress. So for this video series, and what I want to do this time round is go through the first four steps here. Creating our data factory, creating the Azure SQL DB, creating a functions app and creating the Azure Key Vault. So that's all we're going to do in this video just to try and keep things nice and uh, bite sized for you. So let's minimize Visual Studio and then let's go to my browser. As you recall, I got the source control source code from this GitHub repo. And now I'm just going to go to the Azure portal, azure.microsoft.com. And what I have here is a completely vanilla Azure tenant. And all I've done is, um, before the, the recording started, was create a free trial subscription. So in my case, in the UK, Microsoft will give me £150 of free credit on Azure subscription if you want to just try this thing out. So as I say, vanilla, talent, vanilla Azure talent, tenant, and um, I've just got a free trial subscription set up just to give me something to get going. Um, no resource groups in here and certainly no resources already deployed. So I say completely from scratch. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is create a resource group. Um, you may use a resource group as the logical container to you know, put all your content in. Um, you could use resource groups for different environments. In my case, I'm just going to use it as the uh, the container um, for everything that I'm going to deploy for the processing framework. In my case, I'm going to use the UK South Azure region, but as you prefer, you know, use whichever Azure region that works best for you. And I'm going to be very unoriginal and just call my resource group ADF Proc Framework. So let's go and create that. Um, so that should be very quick. So resource group created. And what I'm now going to do is just add my first resource. So following my Visual Studio checklist, I'm firstly going to create an Azure data factory. Oops, not resource group. That's my resource group. And within the resource group, let's add a data factory. So I'm going to call this framework factory. And we do want version two of the service. Maybe because uh, somebody else has already used that. <laughs> um, yes, it's going to go in my free trial subscription. Yes, it's going to go in the resource group I've just created, UK South. And what I'm going to do is I'm not actually going to enable a Git repo for the time being, because when I copied it, um, I just used the download function. So that's all I need to do for data factory. That's going to go off and create its own templates and um, do the work behind the scenes for me. So I can just leave that one running. There we go. The next thing I want is an Azure SQL DB or SQL database as it's called. So I'm going to create one of those. 
yes free trial in my resource group and let's call this framework metadata now in Azure SQL DB because it's a PaaS offering from Microsoft it doesn't have a, a SQL Server instance that we might classically think of it, but instead what it wants is a logical server instance for the database to sit on. So I'm just going to, again, be very unoriginal and say framework instance. It wants some SQL authenticated credentials. So let's just create something random to handle that SQL DB SA and let's give it a password where do I want this let's go UK South again so that's the logical server instance created to now house my Azure SQL DB I don't want elastic pool and and S0 with 10 DTUs, that's going to be fine as a starting point for this. It's going to be an empty database. We might scale it up later. So that's going to go off and create. Initializing, so it's validating my options. And then it will actually go and deploy it for me. There we go. So that's points one and two covered off for the deployment of this framework. Part number three, we want this time an Azure Functions app. So let's create one of those. Yes, free trial in my resource group, framework functions, 01. I want it to just publish using code. I don't want a Docker container. My function app is going to use .NET Core because all of the framework functions, that's what they're written in. And they are written in version 3.1 of .NET Core. And let's have this in UK South as well. Nice and easy. Are we still validating? Yes, we are. Always takes longer when uh, you're watching it. Thank you, finally. And then Lastly, the fourth piece of the puzzle, I just want an Azure Key Vault. Let's create one of those. Same set of options. Framework keys. And let's have it in UK South again. <coughs> the standard pricing tier is fine. Soft delete, yeah, sure, that's always a good idea. And I don't need any purge protection. So let's just create that final Azure resource that we need for the framework and Azure Key Vault. How are we getting on? It looks like, so the data factory is deployed, the database is deployed. This one's probably doing my function, so that one's now finished. Validation has passed for my key vault. That's initializing. Good. So let's just come back to my home page. So first four things that we need for this metadata driven processing framework have now been created. So let's just recap my resource group that's been created. I've got a data factory. I've got a SQL database with its logical instance. The 
functions app is probably still on its way. Ah, of course, now it's just created the app service plan. It's not actually created the function app just yet, but we will use that when we deploy it from Visual Studio in a later video. Ah, no, we've appeared. Good stuff. So that's my functions app. And we've got the Key Vault created as well with Soft Delete enabled. So that's it for this video. Nothing too complicated. Just getting those first four bits of Azure resources set up and, and ready to use for what we do in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. Join me again soon.